Yo, what's going on? So, how y'all doing today? Let me see if I'm actually on because I'm not monitoring myself yet. Let me see what's going on. How y'all doing if you are there? I appreciate it. It's so, such a good morning and really enjoying today. Enjoying myself, enjoying everything. All right, so looks like I am on. Okay. See, let's see, do we have sound? Yo. See if I'm running into the same problem again with the audio. Let's go. Oh, here we go. That's why. Microphone. Check. Cool, cool. All right. Mm, got one more thing. I know this is a work in progress, y'all. I know y'all be like, man, this dude ain't got his stuff together yet. But, you know, I'm not a pro. I try to keep it 100 with you. I'm, just, I'm learning this every day. Just trying to learn. Yo. So, looks like I don't have volume out again. Why, I don't know. It says I do. What up, bro? Yo, Mo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh... I can hear myself, but I don't hear anything on a broadcast, so that might be something. Yo, yo. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm good. All right. I just, I, I probably got it turned down on my, um, on my comeback here. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, all these new updates and OBS, man, be messing me up. So, you know, you know how they go. You do this, so you understand. So, all right, here we go. So, guys, guys, Mo, everybody that's on, what's happening? Anybody else that's on? Oh, I got a loop here. Where is this loop at? I got a loop somewhere. Oh, I think it's over here. All right, good. So, Mo said I sound good, so I'm going to keep it moving. We ain't go, we ain't go fight with the... We ain't go, keep, we ain't go fight with everything else. All right, good. Yeah. Okay. So, let's talk a little gaming news. All right. That sounds cool. Hey, I'm welcome, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you see him, he back there, he hanging out, ah, ah, what's that? <laughs> yeah, man, we having a little fun back there, man, he, he doing his thing. So, yeah, we having, we having a good time, bro. That's my dude, man. So, let's see what's going on, man. How many people out here, is, how many people out here in this world here doing this thing so I can see what's going on? Okay, I got one watching, Mo, so you are it. But that's fine. That's cool. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, so, we sit here talking about stuff. So, I don't know how how caught up you are with some stuff. So, I've been looking at a couple of things here uh, about some gaming stuff. I've been really interested in stuff. I think it's... So, I'm going to pull up something here, man. Got a new product, man, that's coming out that I was kind of interested in. I know everybody kind of got to jump on it. So, 
it's nothing new. Uh, I mean, well, it's nothing probably new to you guys, but uh, just something that I checked out. So I'm gonna go here. So I was looking at these things right here. I was looking at these, uh, the Evercades. Evercade came out with the new pocket handhelds, right? So they got the, the Capcom and they got the Taito version uh, of the handhelds. So these things are cool. So the Capcom version is coming with 12 games and the Taito version is coming with 17 games. Now, they're pretty decent. I was looking at them. The quality looks really good. Uh, so I was I was really looking into them. I was really interested. So I was going on to here to see, you know, what they had. And you can uh, go into them. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little bigger. And you can actually, they actually had the games list on here. Let me see if I can pull them up. So let's see if I can get this pulled up here. Okay, that didn't do anything here. So they're not working on here. Let's see if we can go to the Best Buy site and see if they'll come up. If they'll come up. Okay, so they don't have the links up yet. But uh, where were they at? They did have a games list for each one. And they were pretty cool, but they were more of the stuff that we were already, you know, into. Uh trying to figure out what that list is oh here it is uh it says okay so it's just saying like games some of the games is going to be inside the taso version it's going to be um like space invaders rastan bubble uh bubble bobble uh and bust the move so you know you know you got a lot of the classics the stuff that you're used to but it's kind of cool it's uh more like a little uh, pocket handheld that you can just throw in your back pocket. That's what they're marketing it as. It's something you just throw in your pocket, keep it going with some high quality resolution gaming. Let's see. Say that I love the handhelds making their way back into the. Yeah, man, they really are. They're making their way back. You know, a lot of guys, uh, we love that stuff. I mean, as far as us buying some of the more complicated stuff, uh, it's really cool having some of this stuff. Uh, the only problem that I'm going to see with this is going to be. That hold on, let me see if it's up here. If I if I didn't have the chat pulled up real quick. Okay, let me go back over here. There it goes. Souls right there. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Let me see if I can find my ninja. Okay, copy. Let me go over here. See if it come up. There it goes. Okay, so now I can see it over here on this screen. So yeah, uh, the the only problem that I see with these, let me go with some of the Capcom ones. Of course, you're gonna have your Street Fighters. It's uh, as uh, Street Fighter Two, Hyper Fighting, Final Fight, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, Strider, and a couple of other other ones. Now, the biggest problem I'm going to see with these is the price. I don't see it doesn't show it on here, but I do know they're going to be selling on Amazon also. And Amazon had their price leak for these things. And it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 bucks. So that was a little high for me for something so small. I just couldn't really see paying 60 bucks for, uh, you know, a little, little handheld, you know, so, but it is what it is. So I got my, you know, it's a uh, game called chat, you know, so with the coffee or whatever. But this morning I got tea. I mentioned that. So I'm going to get into this new phase where I mention what I have. So this morning I got tea. My wife made something kind of cool. It's a, a tea made with lemonade. So she made like a mint tea with lemonade and honey. Um, absolutely delicious. I didn't mean to do that in the microphone, but it, it went down, so. But yeah, it's absolutely delicious. So, hey, if you can, try that out. That is tasty. Yeah, man, love it, love it. So, that's one of the things I got up here. Let's see what else we got over here in gaming news. So, we was over here looking over here. It says Donkey Kong. They're making somebody's making the world's longest Donkey Kong. So it says a uh, strong museum is making the world's largest playable Donkey Kong cabinet, man. It's going to be 
pretty dang big. Look at this, man. The scale is going to be humongous. Now, what's crazy is that they have a lot of these cabinets like that. My wife loves Gallagher, so we went there. And I know you remember Arcade went up, did the, uh, did the, uh, the, uh, what's the, what's the basketball? The, uh, Kylie, why can't I think about it? The NBA jam. They made the, the, the extra large NBA jam. And, uh, now my wife, we played a giant Gallagher, which was dope. Yeah, that is bananas, right? That's stupid. Like, I, you know, they're just, they're just going to make it for the hell of it, dude. But it's, it's kind of cool, man. They were just talking about it. So it says, according to the museum, the cabinet will be uh, visible from uh, the first floor welcoming um, in the atrium. It is playable uh, just outside of ELS uh, Digital Worlds Gallery, uh, located in the second floor of Nintendo of America. It has uh, provided inputs um, on the project, although... Details about the uh, involvement haven't been revealed. So, it looks like Nintendo was in partner with this one. They they sanctioned it. It's a good to, it's a good to go situation. So it's not just something these people are just doing or as a one off. You no, know, Nintendo actually had you know gave them permission for it. So it's gonna be dope, man. I just I'm trying to figure out, like what kind of screen do you put in that thing though? That's kind of crazy. Like look how big this joint is, man. Like, are you projecting it? I mean, I guess they got so many new technologies now with screens, though, man. With like some of those high def screens, they're modular screens where they're putting them together, man. Those are that's gonna be sick, man. I love the slots in the front, so it's it's just a Nintendo cab, man. But if you notice here, let me see if I got it. If I can do it right here. So, let me see. So if they got it uh, right here, uh, it's a pedestal. So you're not going to be playing up here. You know, it looks like it's gonna, you're going to be playing up here, but you're actually going to be playing on a pedestal. Hey, what's going on? Buddha for one stop by to say hello. That's what's going on. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be kind of dope. You know, we got the pedestal here. You got the slots for those speakers like normal. So it's a Nintendo cab. It actually looks like the marquee is going to be good. Even though this is a render, I got a feeling with today's technology, man, that they're going to really make this thing look pretty dang good. You know, I don't think that we're going to be looking at anything that's going to be um, kind of subpar, man. I think that's going to be nice, nice, nice. I, you know, and you know, speaking of Nintendo cabs, so I got to speak on a story. Everybody knows who I get on here. I get on stories. So last week, What's up, Chosen? How you doing, my brother? Chosen's in the house. I uh, I had an opportunity to get a Nintendo cab, man. I kind of got swindled out of it. So it was a lady made a post over in Alabama, had a Mario cab. You know, I didn't I didn't really talk about it. My wife kept telling me, don't talk about it because you don't know if you're going to get it or not. And it did fall through. So great price on the cab, which is crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and tell the whole story. So me and stringer films was trying to secure the cab for me it's my first full-size cabinet and um it was kind of wild so the lady i don't know what happened i'm not calling nobody out or what whatever i'm just saying that you know once we was in communication and something just stopped i don't know what happened they only wanted 500 dollars for the cab a complete working mario um cab you know, Nintendo cab. It needed to be restored a little bit. It had new graphics, but it needed to be need some filler, some paint. Um, me and String got worked out. We had T-molding, paint, everything sorted. So it was good to go. Uh, even uh, restoration for the marquee. Um, but she just called it off. Bad thing is, about a week later, I look online. I guess she sold it to a guy in Tennessee. The guy in Tennessee uh, is reselling it. Now it's 1300 bucks. Yeah. It, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I kept telling them, I was like, yo, man, this would be my first cab. You know, I, I would love talk, talk to Nintendo cab. Oh, yeah. I know, I, know I, I was, you know what was crazy about that deal, Chosen, is that uh, I've been looking at some, some uh, replicas, so I didn't, I had been pricing those in the replica cabs are in the neighborhood of 500 bucks so even that's an unfinished replica cab that you can make yourself to whatever you want it to be you know so i i was like man this is a great deal it's an actual numbered 
um, Nintendo Mario cab with Super Mario Brothers on it. It um, it was in good working condition. It was full, you know, it wasn't broken up, chipped up. Had the back, had the number plate, had the serial, had everything. It just needed to be you no know, little TLC. But man, you know, some people don't care. You know, they don't care. You know, you you talk about game enthusiasts. I know it's the world of money and everything we doing. I was just just wanted to secure my first cab, man. That was I thought that was gonna be it. But you know, I realized something, man. What God got for you, man, can't nobody take away. So when it's time for me to have it. I have it, you know, so that's all I can do. That's all I can do is wait on it, you know. When I, when it's time for me to have it, it's coming. So yeah, sorry about that. I, had, I realized I had some talk back in my ear. I was like, that was me. Uh, let's see what else is going on, man. I looked at a couple of different things. So moving on from that, um, we had uh, extreme add-on. So of course everybody's been looking at this, man. So if you guys haven't paid attention, I know it's been out for a minute. But uh, there have been people have been actually installing these things, man. So they've been installing these uh, these front and back covers, man. They look pretty dope. It's a little bit more labor intensive than I want to deal with at any given time. But you know, to each his own. I think you know. I think it's dope. Um, I you know I recently went over the, the fact that I had took my um my RG Ally back, and I think you know a lot of people got mad at me it was like uh you know it's funny man i got like over 100 over 200 comments or something on that on that one video and uh man these uh these uh pastel colors are kind of nice though you see the solid green the paint oh that's dope and the gold i don't know if i rock the gold you know i mean i'm a i am a black and gold brother you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna get too deep in that you guys you can figure that out for yourself if you if you know anything about divineness, I am a black and gold brother. So, but this uh, clear blue is nice. They they don't, oh so they did rock the clear green and the clear red, but they didn't they didn't go with the straight clear. Is is this kind of crazy? Or maybe this is just a sample of what they have. But this is dope. These pastels. I didn't even notice they had the pastels. Those are dope. But um, yeah. So these things are going good, man. But I, uh, I actually, I took my. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the video, I took my RG Ally back. People were bashing me like crazy on it, man. It's like, oh, uh, some people were like, oh, uh, this is what you do, you know, when you got too much money, or this is what you, you know, this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing and PC. And I'm like, man, I got, I've been building PCs since, dude. I built my first PC no talk no lie man in 1994 so when i went to school 94 95 when i got ready to go to college we had to have uh no 93 94 yeah right around that time i had we had to i went to foot college and they required you to have a computer which was weird at the time you know for the 90s because it wasn't like they were just super readily available but um yeah, I remember I had to work before I went to football camp. I had to uh, work that summer, and I, I saved up enough money, and it was before a micro center here in Atlanta, and we got two, but we had a, a place called CompuTime, and I actually went there, and I put together my first build. i never forget. It was like a, the hard drive was like a 10 gigabyte hard drive, and that was a lot. I remember the RAM was like, uh, my man, like two hundred megabytes, two hundred, you no know, something. It was, it was stupid, man. It, the the specs on that computer were so, so far gone from what we have now. You know, it's kind of crazy thinking about it. Um, but like, yeah, man, these dudes were dogging me about this stuff, and I'm like, man, I used to work for the second largest ISP in the world at one time, man. I remember I worked for uh, Earthlink. Uh, when it was my spring and um, I worked there when you know before a lot of this PC and stuff went big you know we was in there doing tech support and working in securities and network securities and all this other stuff man back in the day you know I got out of it but you know it never left me man so these dudes are like you know me too much I don't know anything about Windows I'm like dude I remember working I worked at a place that was a distributor and tester for Windows um, 95. It was a Windows 95, Windows 96. 
before it came out. So we had it. We literally had physical copies in house a year before they dropped. Yeah, it was that crazy. Like I, I had that was in like uh you know like a, a a summer job I had back in the day. So for somebody to say that to me is kind of weird. It's like crazy because you don't know nobody knows your background until you tell them. And it was like, man, you are talking to me about this stuff. You have no idea. You know, I, I code. I have a whole coding course. Uh, Girls who code. I got a chapter, my own chapter for my nonprofit. Uh, for coding and they're talking to smack i mean i'm like dude the only reason why i got rid of the rig ally is nothing i had no problems with what other people were talking about I had no problems with it breaking no problems with it overheating because i didn't play it like that i wasn't gonna play it like it was my only computer in my house i mean it's a handheld why would i play it so hard and so hot to test it every I, I guarantee you that everybody who got their rg that hot either didn't have anything else to play or they pushed it to the point where they were gonna see what would happen you know hate to be that guy but it's the truth i mean if you're just casually playing on one of these handhelds you play about two or three games maybe you play an hour or two you sit in a corner you're not pushing that thing to it cooks. These guys are turning everything up till they burn it up, man. And they get mad when they burn up they, they micro SD ports and the HDMI ports and their buttons don't work. That thing is cooking itself from the inside out. That's crazy, man. But I digress. I just uh I got to the point where I just didn't need it. I didn't um let's see, let's see what happened to me. Let's see. So they tried to get everyone out. Of this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we say we try to get everybody uh, out of that screen. Oh, yeah. But you know, I I I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. But just hey, what's up, OG Pop? What's, up, what's going on, man? Holla at me, man. Talk back to me. Fill me in on exactly what you mean. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I would love to know. I, you just kind of threw it up. Are you talking about the Steam Decks? Are you talking about the ROG? I was just talking about both. I'll say, okay. So, yeah, man. So, I just got rid of mine because I wasn't going to use it, dude. I just didn't. I, I'm not using it. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not. I wasn't using it. My my Steam Deck is, is bomb. My Steam Deck is laid out. It took me a long time to get this thing where I want it, the emulation that's on it is is banging. Um, I got everything, every, almost every single game that I want. I mean, I could say, you know, without trying to be funny, man, but Mario is quacking on my Steam Deck hard. Every game I want to play is on there hard. I can, I can play whatever I want, any system. You know, I mean, shoot, man, I got some Xbox games in on, on that thing, you know what I'm saying? It's working okay. You know, PlayStation to playstation 3 i mean they're, they're not bad i mean once you figure out how to do it and you learn how to you know tweak they run you know like i told a guy i mean like one of my biggest uh problems with either one of these handhelds or successful or what with a device that small the ally doesn't need a high resolution screen especially when it is yeah yeah i agree i agree but i'm gonna tell you that was my number two so number one i just didn't play it my number two, I can't see crap, man. I couldn't see nothing on the screen. So, I mean, if I'm playing, and this is my thing, if I got two handhelds and my Steam Deck, which is totally mapped out, three terabytes, you know, all the, all the, you know, uh, uh, one, you know, everything is there. I got Halifax joysticks. I got everything tweaked the way I want it. Got my emulation working the way I want them. Um, I tried to, and I don't, I don't only play like games, like arcadey type games on there. So it killed me when I said, okay, I bought the RG Ally to play things like uh, Call of Duty or uh, Strike or some of this other stuff that I like to play, you know, Siege, you know, Rainbow Six or some, you know, like, like my shooters that I like to play. You know, that's the stuff that I played, my hardcore stuff, and, and some fighting games. Like, so the fighting games were kind of cool, but they're, they're great on 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 Steam on my Steam Deck. So my Street Fighter VI runs great on there. Um, you know, Final Fight works great on there. Um, 
all this other stuff, it works great. You know, uh, all of my older um, fighting games, they work good on there. My Mario Kart runs great on there. Anything with kind of a big picture, you know, you can see. And I realized that, man, when I'm playing like Call of Duty and some of this other stuff, like you said, when you got to get into those small little crevices and whatnot, man, I couldn't see crap. I just can't see it. I think it's a waste of time. Like, I don't, anybody who sits there and says, and I know maybe it's just me. I'm old, got bad eyes, but anybody who's sitting there and saying they're, that they're just really, really playing a lot of, oh, let me get back over here to the screen, that they're playing a lot of, uh, they're playing a lot of like these games, these 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 shooters on here, and they can see every single thing, and they're killing, they're smashing their scores. I have to see it, bro. I I haven't seen anybody stream their gameplay with that with one of the handhelds in a, in like a Call of Duty match where they got a nuke or something like that. Like I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying. I can't see it. You know, maybe if you're playing a really small closed course, you know, um, that, you know, that maybe you can do it, but I couldn't do it. And for me, if, if I can't play that game or those type of games on it and I can't, and, and then you can play them, they're play, play, they play very well. But if I can't see them, it defeats the purpose. I'm not going to go and get me a pair of readers and put on every time I want to play that particular game or that series of games i just you know it's just, it's just it just wasn't that that complicated to me and when i'm playing when i'm really really playing i'm sitting at my desktop you know so here i am i just sit right here and play hey man just that easy no peace no must no fuss no coconuts that's what they said to me you know so that really concludes this right here. If you guys have anything else you want to talk about, I got three people in the chat, man. Man, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to do anything else, man, before we get into some gameplay, because you know we about to do it. I got Mode on here. I got Chosen on here. So what we going to do, man? We going to play a little. I think I'm going to play a little. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that if anybody did it, I got a device over here that has that in there. So, so this device right here, um, which for any, I know it's dirty. Sorry about that. Looks all bad. I apologize. But so this, uh, for anybody who wants to know, is a yellow a yellow box. So. This thing has some super dope features that if a game manufacturer put this in their in their in their uh, handhelds, they would win, 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 win. I'm telling you. Hey, hey, Mo, that's cool. I get it. You know, it's all right. It's all good. But I'm just telling you, though. And for somebody who uh, says you just can't jump out for the steam, hey, man. I'm not jumping out the window. I'm just like, it's okay. You know, if you get it, man, my nephew caught one the other day, man. Not, he caught one for like 200 or some bucks. You know, somebody was selling on like marketplace. You know, it's a great, it's, it's, it's a good device. It's, it's good for what it's for. I use it to, to travel. Like when I'm maybe like on a plane or we're on a cruise, or we're doing that, and I'm just sitting there, like, oh, for me, like, we're on a car ride, man, like, we're on an eight-hour car ride going somewhere, and it ain't my turn to drive. I can just sit in the passenger seat or in the back or whatever, turn it on, man, put my headphones in, I can play. You know, I'm being honest, I'm not one of those guys, I'm always walking, I'm, even though I almost always have my handheld in my backpack, I'm not always walking around playing, you know what I'm saying? So you say, you say you'll, you'll get a Steam Deck eventually, Yeah, I mean that's kind of cool. I was um talking to my wife. She was talking about mine and her uh switch. So, well, after Bobby was talking about his, but man, that the dude, man, it was. I don't, I don't mod switches to do the to do the hard mod. So, man, but the prices for mods on those things is ridiculous. They want three hundred bucks. 
250, 300 bucks to mod a switch, dude. And I'm like, I can't do that. That's how much it costs. So let me talk to you about this, this device. This is the Yolo box. Uh, it's got a Wasi onion cage on it. It's really probably, if you guys watch Retro Ralph and you saw the podcast where he was podcasting live on the fly, this was it. So this is what I got for... I actually got one myself for um, Southern Fried Gaming and a couple more conferences. I'm setting myself up to go to about four gaming conventions a year. So I want to go to these things now. I'm getting myself out there and getting back into the community, trying to rebuild my channel back to what it was um, before I came back out. And, you know, and I don't you know, just trying to give you guys the content. So this thing is dope. But this thing has a feature on it that is stupid. So this thing has a feature called, um, I think called network linking or something. So what you can do, and they actually do it through the cloud, through the software or whatever, and through the device. So say if you have two cell phones, so you can actually hotspot both cell phones or both cell phones and Wi-Fi. Say if you're in the location and they have Wi-Fi. So like we're gonna be at Southern Fried Gaming. So the hotel itself has Wi-Fi. So I can technically sign into the Wi-Fi. I can sign in to my hotspot. The technology now will combine the two. It doesn't switch between the two. It will, it will actually pull both signals at the same time to give you the most optimal signal to the device to stream. I don't know what you guys are saying, but that's something you're using to stream. Yeah, it is. But imagine them using the same technology with gaming. So you put your SIM card in here. This thing has a SIM card slot. So I can put a SIM card in here. I can tether to another phone and I can be on Wi-Fi at a location and they are all combined as one signal, giving you the best signal possible. Like, period. Like, almost like you're on a gigabit network. It won't lose frames. It won't lose anything. And if you do happen to drop one of those signals, it picks up the other two or the other one or whatever, and it keeps you moving. If you could combine that into gaming, you put your you put your SIM card in your, in your device, just like this one. You put your SIM card in the device. You tether to your phone or you get on a hotspot and that signal combines everything together to give you the most optimal signal possible that'll be like playing in your house all the time can you imagine having a handheld that is that fast and you can play with anybody in the community anywhere you go so i know like we're talking about other games like but think about it so like like the only other game that I would think about that I would love to play would be like something like Fall Guys. Imagine like me and Mo we were talking about playing Fall Guys a while back. Imagine being able to play Fall Guys. So you do have your your ROG ally. You have a port in there so you can have your, your card and you're on Wi-Fi and it's giving you the best signal. Now you're able to play competitively or play tournaments while you're on the road or you're on the go or whatever. And I think that's what they were trying to do. So let me tell you something. I do know that they were talking about a lot of these fighting tournaments moving over to handheld PCs um, if they could get the games optimized on them to be able to play because it would give everybody the basic same platform to move from place to place to place um, and it would allow them to do, it, do whatever they wanted to do, you know, and that would be the dopest thing. I think that, hey, what's up, Cham? How you doing, bro? So I know that uh, Steam Deck couldn't really achieve it because they couldn't they couldn't get the uh the device fast enough but the rog is one of those devices that's expressing that so um with the new with the new regulations that are coming out in europe for batteries where you're going to have to have easily changeable and it's going to go global so the regulations are going live in europe and they're going to be funneling out to the rest of the world you're going to have interchangeable batteries and i hope that with interchangeable batteries people are going to have to worry about battery problems and I hope they would come out and put something like this. If you can, if you can put that in this device, you can put it in a handheld. They're the same price. This device is the same price as either one of those, is either one of these handhelds. And it does, and I, I would dare to say 
that it's not as technologically advanced as that. This is more software driven. So this right here is a complete streaming studio in your hand. I don't need anything else but this. I don't need a computer. I just need my camera, this, and a microphone. I need audio signal, video signal, and I can stream to any streaming channel on the planet with this device. I can be in the middle of the field. I could be in the woods. I could be anywhere. As long as I got my cell phone uh, uh, or a SIM card or whatever, then you can do the same thing for handhelds. I don't, you know, I think that, you know, they, I think that they are, a, they're not giving it all to us at one time. It's like, you know, you know, whoever comes out with it is going to seem like they made, they broke the mold when they do it. It's going to be like, oh my God, it's, this is so revolutionary, but this technology is already out there. This device has been out for three or four years and it's been able to do the same thing for three or four years. So, you know, go figure. But so let's talk about gaming. So we done did a bunch of chatting. I got three people in the chat. It's kind of cool. It ain't like, you know, most days, but hey, it's, I don't make it for everybody. I make this for the people that come through. So let's see what we got here. Hey, Moch, you was talking about that bill. We go get that bill cracking for you, man. We go get that bill cracking for you. Be looking for it in the next couple weeks. Let's see what else I got here on my desktop. I got Steam. I got my desktop. I got this, that. I can't, I can't ever figure that out. So... Man, y'all tell me, man, what we what we playing, man? What we playing? Tell me, tell me what we playing. I, I got almost. Hold up. Oh, I gotta grab it. Yep. Mm, gotta grab it. So I got pretty much whatever you is you want. So you let me know. I don't. I mean, I ain't got. I got no stupid shit. You know. Talk to me. You know what? I'm gonna I'm do something stupid. I'm gonna play something totally different. We not gonna do that. We gonna do this right here. I got a game that I've been wanting to play that I absolutely suck at, but I love the game. So I'm just going to keep it 100. Let's go to here. Let's play this. I'm going to grab the old controller here. That's going to be a controller game. Let's see what we got. Uh, Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to get it out for you, man. I just, I just gotta have, you know, like right now, like this is like been the like the only time I had. So like in a minute, I gotta get rid of get off the stream and run somewhere too. So, but I'm not making excuses. I will get it to you. So let's see what we got here. Let's go to a little bit of gameplay. Let's see what we got here. Boom. No problem. Yeah, boy. Who knows what this is? Turn this music off. If you ain't played it, man, it's actually dope, man. It looks awesome, man. I was so uh, throwback, man, when they came out with this. I was like, oh, crap, I got to get it. Off the screen, and let me also get rid of this right here. Yeah. 
then I have a problem. Of course, I would. I would. It wouldn't be me if I didn't have a problem, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a problem. Hold on one second. Give me. Let's go back here real quick. Let's go back right here for one second. Let's do this for a second right here. We got a small issue. Where is my mouse? So my controller didn't bind, which is absolutely crazy. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay, it says it's connected. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see. So. All right. So, let's go. Let's load game, man. Oh, I don't know what's going on with that. That's kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is freaky. Like you told me before. Okay. Super. Huh. Super crazy. I don't know. Let's go. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with that. And see, like, you see something on the screen I don't see. It's kind of, that's weird. Okay, let's go. What's going on with my screen, yo? Stupid. Oh, you know what? I know what's wrong, Mo. I know what's you gonna say you gonna say it. I know you gonna tell me. I done did it again. It's still trying to play at 1440 instead of 1080. I know I don't have this thing down pat. Dang it, man. My screen messed me up. Yeah, man. It's a great game, man. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, hey, guys, I'm trying to... I don't know why it's doing that. So, let me see if I can go do something real quick. Let me do this. Trash days. Return the map. Let me return to the map. Let me go to the... I'm going to go to the settings. Um, go to options, display settings.
it's not giving me different display settings. It's just giving me headset display, uh, size, weapon display, screen brightness. So it's not giving me, oh, graphic settings, let's go here. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to go to 1440. Oh, because you know, it's not going to give it to me while I'm casting because I don't know. Oh, that's that's it. That was it. Because I'm at where are you at? Come on, give it back to me. It's only giving it to me at 60. That's the most. That's going to be crazy. That means I got to change my internal settings on my monitor to 60 hertz. That's dumb. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I will have to go out and change my... Let me do this. Just give me one second. This is crazy. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to change my monitor... over to 60 hertz or it's not going to play let's see what I got here let me see if I can do that real quick let me see yeah I'm playing because I'm playing at 200 and something will it let me Let's see if that's gonna work. Let's see if this will work real quick. Let's see. It looked like that's working because it's not uh, cutting out on me. So let's see. All right, let's. Let's go back in here. Okay. Yeah, man. It is. It's dope, man. Let's see. Too well, they don't be playing. Oh, I suck, man, but it's okay. I love it, man. I, I, when I saw they had a rematch, I was like, man, I'm on that. God dang it. 
I can't get. I mean, and I and it's funny. I usually do a lot better. <laughs> but you know how it go. When you when you stream and everybody see how you mess up, right? Too close. <sighs> How do I get worse? I see you'll be one of them, huh? Yep, you're 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 done. Sorry, homie. You can keep doing as much as you want, but you ain't gonna get back in here. <laughs> I used to, oh you want me to play that okay 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 so i got a request for a game i only got a couple more minutes to play too so let me uh let me get out of here do this go back to the map yes <clears throat> All right, so you guys, let me switch over back over to chat heads real quick. So let me have to look at my desktop. Oh, crazy. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. There we go. Let's see where we're at. Hmm. 
You know what's crazy, Buddha Point? My fighting hers don't show up. It's crazy. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Them fighting hurts. I, mean, I was like, man, I got it. Where's that? Now let's go back over to the game chat. To the game play. It's going to be quick because I suck on this one. So I got it a while back, but I never I never got to it. You know, I didn't think about it, Buddha. We should be playing with each other. I don't know why we're not playing against each other because this is a cross-platform game. So you have it and I have it. So we should be playing each other. connectivity there we go okay all right there you go Arizona I'll make the proud pa what in the world is going on Oh, I don't. I know what's up. I got my controller set up for something else. I will be, of course. I really did everything. Velvet savings revolt never looks so good. Do not underestimate the good that dark magic can do. Oleander. My magic may be dark, but it will bring light to the world. Yeah, or dark. Either one. Why is it? Hold on. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah. I don't know why it's doing this. Having issues here. I just don't want to move over from screen to screen either, which is crazy. Let's see, I got a couple more minutes. I gotta get out of here. Actually, I gotta go. Oh. Hold on one second, guys.
All right, sorry about that, guys. So you look like I got a little bit more time. Oh, that you ain't got it, Mo. You ain't played it, dude. You know they played this at over the or at um uh, at uh man, what was that? I forgot which uh, fight tournament. This was this was one of the games. I'm 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 doing it no justice. Trust me, I suck. But it's some people. It's it's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. You know, I'm just not doing it any justice. Yeah, I'm doing it no justice, but I have trained years for this. You will not dissuade me. Go get a Molly. Round one. Fight. Yo, yo, so what's going on, everybody? I see everybody out here. We got six people in the chat, man. Say something. What's going on? What's happening? Playing them fighting herds. Beautiful re re requested this, so, you know, she has the game. We don't seem to play it on with, with against each other, but we need to. I've had the game for over a year myself. I don't play it that much, but... And mind you, I got it on easy, so don't think it's just a, a don't think it's just a gimme game. Is that uh because uh I I'm just playing it like this because I don't play it. I don't wanna look like no suck alive, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be talking bad about me. Talking about this dude I got on here and he suck, you know what I'm saying, horribly, like I just did in Ghost and Goblin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude got one of them looks on his face like he ain't even bothered, right? Come on. Give it to me. Give me, give it to me. I wish I could come up with some more combos. They have a they have a tutorial on here too, so I just hadn't really got deep into it, so I uh oh. I know it's, it's not as good as I'm not, you know, I'm not very good, but I'm trying. Yeah, got a couple games in the library. That's funny, Mo. I didn't even know it was free. She, when I ended up getting it for her, man, that game was like $35. Like I told you, they got some combos in here. I'm just not good at it, you know?
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bully my way up out of this. I'm gonna corner my way out of this one. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna make me look stupid. <laughs> oh, got me. Oh. Got me. I was trying to trying to trying to muscle corner muscle him, but that's how it's done. That was close. Final round. Fight. Ooh, got me. He jumped off in that thing, then. So you can see, how, I mean, like looking at his combos, uh, you can see where the game has some some deeper levels. I mean, I know they're, like I said, they're playing this at a lot of tournaments and whatnot. So it's kind of cool, man, to see it. You know, I'm just not good, but there's some players out there that are good. Me. So what's going on? What's up, stream? What's happening? What's happening? A little bit of fighting hers. Y'all tell me what's going on next. So I, I'm probably going to get into a little street fighter or something like that next. And then that's going to be pretty much it, man. You know, I don't want to go too long. I'm right at an hour anyway. Trying to do this on Mondays and Thursdays in the morning. So if anybody want to join me, I think I got to invite this dude on, man. This, uh... This dude, I don't know what it called. Is it Micah All oh, Trades? Is that his name? I might have to invite him on one day and see if you wanna if you wanna just jump on, man, and and, and uh, chat it up and and uh, and do some fizzing. He pretty he pretty good at that stuff. He hosts a little show. If you guys ain't noticed, you know what I'm saying. The 7 Eleven got a tournament going on right now. The series, no, this back alley. I'm sorry, I was wondering. Hey man, talk to me about your, about your thing, man, so I can pump it up, man. So people can come in and get some of this. Some of that action that you got. You got a pretty good tournament going on. So this tournament is dope, guys. The winner of the tournament actually gets a belt, man. So it's kind of cool, you know. You know, I, I wish I had time. If I didn't work in the evenings, man, I would definitely join, man. I would. And he's got some some pretty good people on here. Like you saw him in the chat early, Cham, and and uh, you know some of these guys, man, that play. They, they're real, man. They some real players, man. I'm not that good, man. Oh, it's a belt and a cash prize this year. 
You see what I'm saying? I mean, you know, this dude, I mean, he got something big going on, man. So make sure you guys get it, give it a check, man. Get check it out, man. He's uh it's a big it's big time stuff there, man. You know. Big time stuff, man. You know, I do, I do, I do family game, and I, ain't, I, I, don't, I don't have it like that. I wish I could, but hey, man, I'm telling you, I enjoy it every time I watch it. The, the competition on there is, uh, is really good. <laughs> and uh, but you know, the, you know, I think that you know when you watch it, you know, it's it's very. It's very entertaining, man. The the conversation is had between the, the guys, guys and girls. Plus the uh, the gameplay makes up for it, man. They play a variety of games too, man. I like it because it's not relegated to playing just all new stuff that everybody plays. It's uh you know it gives you a little bit of everything. You know it gives you a little bit of you know get a little bit of classic gaming, a little bit of new style stuff, man. So make sure you guys get a chance, man. AP Room Chat, if you haven't checked it out, go to Moat. Make sure you go to Michael Ball Trades. Go to Moat. Um, Moat, what's 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 the actual name, of the channel, so they can they can find it for the people that's in the chat that are not here. Hold on, let me see something. What'd you say? What'd you say, channel? So there you go, guys. There it is. Back Alley 7-Eleven. Make sure you go check it out. So check out Back Alley 7-Eleven. Um, it's hosted by um, Moat, which is Mike of All Trades. He has several channels, man. The guy is awesome. He has great, great, great content, man. I love watching the man. He's OG in this thing, man. You know, with this gaming thing. You got Cham 13. Uh, the, hey, super cat right there. Super kid fighter, man. You don't want none of this dude, man. You know, one day when I grow up, I'll be able to do some of that. But, you know, right now, it ain't looking good for the kid. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn, shame on you when you step to z z the older the Brooklyn. Z shame on you. Okay, so <laughs> Damien, what's going on? Who we got here? We got Damien. Let's let's get let's get damn uh Damien. What's up? What's up, bro? Man, where you go? Okay. Hey. Uh, so, so, channel. Hey, man. You got to give back to the community, man. Let me tell you something, guys. I paused this, man, because I ain't need no time for I have somewhere to go, but I ain't got to go now. If we don't invest in our community, in our kids, we, we screw. I don't know whose reality is where they think that they're going to be on top of shit forever. You get what I'm saying? Like, for real, man. Like, where is yeah, that ODV, baby? Hey, so where do you, uh, where do you think you're going to be if you don't do something for the kids? The kids, you know, and I'm going to tell you, the worst part about it is, is that you're hoping that they're going to be there and do something for you, but the, and they're going to help you out. But the truth is, is that if you don't do anything and you don't try to help, uh, try to uplift your community, you only doing for it to fail. That's the reality of the situation. So what are you, what are you going to do when you don't do anything for the community? You got to do something for the kids, man. You was a kid at one time, and think about all the stuff you would have loved if somebody would have just took the time to 
to to show you some of the stuff that you needed or gave you dang she won't let me out some some of the stuff that you needed to do or like you showed interest in like all of us right here that play these games and stuff man how many of us and not saying that some of us aren't but how many of us could have benefited from a coding getting into coding or getting into um like game development or something back then man we could be the guys that are making these games Oh snap. Come on man, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Golly, he got me, then. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yo, man, it's hard. It's hard, man, because you, you're not. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what the hardest part about dealing with kids and mentoring is. It ain't the kids. It's the fact that like the community and people don't care. It's people just don't care about the kids, man. It's crazy. You would think that there would be like people trying to like really help out, right? But no, it's you believe how many roadblocks I meet, man, with with this, man. I um like me and my wife, man, we're gonna have to go. We got a softball team. We we got a whole girl softball league that pretty much came and joined with my part. You know, because they didn't get they didn't get any love where they were. You know, they didn't they didn't you know they gave all the love to the boys, which you know I got I got I got a son, so I'm not sitting here and being like, oh I'm a I'm a girl dad and I only deal with girls. I got nieces, I don't have any daughters, but you know what's kind of crazy is that you know they came over to us. That's it, that's it for the little camp. I did it on soft. Um <laughs> Yeah, so they they um they don't they won't maintain the fields like we we rent the fields we rent the park from the county from the city, so we got to pay like ten grand to rent the park for the year, and we have to pay for everything else. Man, we we just needed them to clear the softball field so these girls will play. If I could post a picture up of how these fields look, man, you wouldn't even believe it, man. Me and my wife are gonna have to go out of our pocket and um buy like a four-wheeler and a sprayer man to get these weeds out the infield and stuff like that man so that these girls may have someone to play man it's kind of it's, it's it's sad you know the the amount of pushback you get when all you're trying to do is help like literally dude we stop asking them to come cut the grass we stop asking them that we stop asking them to come do the things that, that we're actually we're paying them to do we're not even saying do it for free we just stop asking them to do it so we just went out there man we hired you know like one of our lawn guys to go out there man and having to take care of it ourselves man we just want to be able to give good quality you know what i'm saying programming to the kids that's it man you know we partnered with the nfl this year for our flag football we had our first flag football league um man we had a ton of boys a ton of girls Man, we had like 80 to 100 kids sign up the first year. Man, it was it was phenomenal, man, to see, like, man, these these kids, you know, get these touchdowns. I saw a little girl do something dope. And my partner hurt his daughter, man. She scored a touchdown. She did a backflip and everything into this joint, man. Like, it looked like something off a highlight reel, man. You would have never believed that, man. Yeah, man, we are. We are, we are, we are. So let's see, let's see what we got here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm done with the fighting herds. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go back to the head, the little head chat right here, man. So I'm gonna change games on y'all, man. 
So let's go. Let's exit the game out. So we got 10 people watching. What's happening, everybody? Nah, man, you right, man. You totally right, bro. Ain't it, it ain't about being out here boisterous, man. You know what I'm saying? You just got to do it, man. Because real talk, if you got time to talk about it, you ain't got time to do it, bro. That's real That's real stuff, man. You know what? I'm going to go into the Street Fighter 6, but I'm not going to go into the control. I don't think I'm going to go into my fight stick. I'm just going to go ahead and go play controller. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to suck either way, so it really don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's how I be. We say you currently helping out a little dude. Oh, that's dope, man. I mean, stay with hey man, look, stay with them. I had a kid, um, it's one of my coworkers' sons, and he was on this whole thing about buying like selling shirts. And I wanted to, I wanted him to really get into it. And I kept telling him, say, look, man, this is what we go do. Okay. Oh, my bad. So. All right. So I was telling him, I said, what we go do, I'm going to teach you how to do it. We go, go get some wholesale shirts. I said, I'm going to show you how to look at, uh, look at getting some custom DTFs. His mom already had a, a press. So all he needed to do was just order the stuff, man. And and I got him. He ordered like 10 shirts. He ordered like 10, um, 10 things and they pressed them out. And um he was supposed to sell me one, but I, I mean, but even if even if that's the case, that he didn't know he didn't get back with me, at least plan to see, like, you know how to do it now. It's not that complicated. Like, all you gotta do, hey man, it ain't gotta be somebody in your family. It don't have to be somebody that you're close to man you know the, the funny thing is that these kids a lot of times they'll come up to us and just say hey um let's say fighting uh passing okay um so yeah you you'll see where they um uh, let's go in here Anybody on? If anybody's on, let me know. So. So. One crazy coincidence kicked it all off. You say you back. Oh man, just jumped over to a little Street Fighter Six. So yeah, man. So like I, I you know, I had the, the kid, man, just trying to um. <laughs> it's on you, baby. I'm here. I ain't doing nothing. It was this weird form. It's all good. Let's go. So yeah, so um. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you just gotta you gotta show interest, man. Kids will come up to you, man. Kids are funny, like young and older kids. Like, you'll be surprised how often they come up to you and just they 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 kind of test you with talking about stuff about uh, just like hey, uh, you know about you know. Can you help them with something or are you real? Are you are you just talking smack or you know? And they and they really truly don't have no guidance. It's funny, you you think they do, but they don't. They you no, know, they're they're asking you because they really don't have nobody. Oh gosh, you got me. You know? So man, you know when these kids walk up to you, man. You know. Oh, 
Oh, you don't. You don't see the game? Are you are you saying you don't see the game? Oh, you don't. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, I got you. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my fault. Got me. Damn. Got me. Yeah, yeah, I did. I had to switch the screen. I, I got so excited, I didn't know what to do. But yeah, man, that's just talking about the kids, man. They ain't trying to be sound like no saint, man. I done live life, man. I did a lot of dirt. I did a lot of stuff, man. I just feel like, you know, like, you know, honestly, I just got a calling, man. You ever, you just got a, 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 some of your spirit that told you you had more to do? Like, like, you know, like you just had more to, more going on. Like you, you knew you had more to give. So like you just you you and you acted on it. So like that's what I just did, man. I was like, you know. I can't remember how to do all of her moves. Shit, I might be doing this wrong. Hell, I actually like the controller a little better than I like the dog on fight stick. That's crazy. Mm. Easier. Like just like anything else, like PC, it's easier, easier gameplay. I'm like, dang, it ain't like I'm like playing on super difficult mode anyway, but Come on, man. Done, son. Get out of here. And I like her. Okay, Bo. You got the... Yeah, I... Uh, let's say, say. Let me see. All right, yeah. Let me see this. Oh, uh. Why not? I ain't gonna be good. Man. I ain't get it. Dang, man. Let me see if I can get out there with Moat. Moat sent me an invite. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I gotta get out to it. Let's see what I can do.
Come on, gang. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, it's, it's much easier to connect. Oh, shit. So now you got Honda, huh? I got you. I see what you're doing, baby. Huh, that was a weird ass freeze there. You got me, got me, got me. Okay. Golly. Got me, got me, got me. Cool, man. Appreciate it, Damon. I, I, I mean, like, when you say stuff, I mean, like, what you mean, like, cars? Or I'm looking for a Porsche 911. <laughs> or you just talking about, like, uh, like stuff on the game, man. Let me know. I don't, I, you know, I, I'm wide open. My gambit is open. I, I, I be I be needing all kind of stuff, bro. I might, you know, I might need, like, a, a batch of deodorant. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> hey, man. Just having fun with you, man. I'm glad you're here, though, guys. You know, I know. Oh, my bad. Just got to let it go. My bad. So, there we go. Ready. I'm sorry, Mo. I know I keep double pressing buttons. You be telling me that all the time. Let's see what we got here. Yo, I got these monitors. If you guys ain't got them, man, when y'all streaming, man, you need to get these jokes. These jokes is, is real. ain't working. Got me. Good move, good move, good go, good go. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. I like to stay fresh, bro. It's all good. <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. You say you sell it all. There you go. Some D.O., baby. I'm good. Shit. Let me get some, baby. And Damien, trust me, I say that because I like to buy that book. And I bought my last, you know, I get it shipped to me. And I literally got on my last stick. So I was like, yeah, I got to If I put that on my list, I got to go get some more deal. So, but you say you do. God dang. My counter. What's up with my counter, yo? It ain't working. Got me. Oh, it caught me in midair. Oh, I see you, Mo. I see you. Caught me in midair, baby. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it. <laughs> What'd you say, Damien? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Shoot. Uh I can use a 3080. I mean, excuse me, a 4080 or a 70. A uh, uh, forty seventy Ti, like today. Hold on, let's uh. Mo, how did you tell me to? Uh, okay, how how do we switch again? No, that's chat. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's switch it up. There you go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my girl, Kimberly. Ah, come on, no.
Okay, we doing it together, right? Got you. Oh. I guess I could play this song. I wonder which one is gonna be good with. I also let you get with your uh, hotness. Okay, let me know. So, yeah, I got both. So, I just need to, I, I wonder which one is going to be a better play. So, I got both. Um, I need to, I, I might try them both, man, to see which one they, which one is, is you no know, easier. I don't play a lot of with these since because I don't have a, a PlayStation. And I know I get ragged out about everybody with that one because I've never had a PlayStation. So, so it's kind of weird. I know. Frozen game moves. Yeah. Guile. That dude is still a beast. OG beast. What time is it? Forty seventy ti. I already got a thirty eighty. I need a forty series card. Oh Lord. Really? This is all you gonna do remote? <laughs> Ham and Swiss on croissant. Oh. 
just too strong, baby. <laughs> It's gotta be a TI. Jamie. I mean I'm I appreciate it. I just um um if it can be a T I O C or also because I usually use a I usually use an overclock so but that's a good price. Five hundred that ain't bad at all. Only problem with that is the freaking new 4070 is running like a a 3060 Ti from the last series. It sucks. That's what I get for not blocking. I'm gonna be done in two seconds here. Close enough. Shit. Yeah. That's cool when you caught me with the low, with the low. Oh, not with the counter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really good for the price. Yeah, you ain't lying. The $500 for the 47 is really good. I just know, I know what I, I, how the counter need to run. Um, I don't, I want, of course, I want to go 4080 or 4090, but I don't run the power for that. I, you know, and I really don't, I really don't have a need for it. I mean, truthfully, the only reason why I even want the 4070 Ti is because I'm thinking about upgrading my monitor again. Because I'm thinking about going with like an OLED or, God damn, I'm about to say, you trying to, you trying to, uh, trying to hit me with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, uh, perfect, huh? No, Mo. I, I sat back for a second. I ain't gonna lie, I slipped with you. You ain't gonna get me with the perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, this ain't no DJ, this ain't no uh no mixtape trying to hit me with the perfect. God dang it. Oh. I 
saw it when I when I got caught. I was like, damn it. Yeah, man. So, Mo, what I'm probably going to end up doing if you get a chance, I probably will uh, stream you live with a head check. And we can play some games, man, live up. So, man, we can both talk and have our commentary up. At the same time. Oh, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Hey, man. I think I like think so, man. But believe it or not, dude, it's the controller, dude. I I I love I have I love my fight stick, but for some odd reason I just I haven't I didn't play with with like a stick for a long time. So like you know they say you lose it, you use it or you lose it, right? One of them situations. And I I was uh Totally, um, totally messed up with that one. So, so I just, I, you know, I, I had to practice. But honestly, this is the first time I ever played with the controller on here. I've never played this Street Fighter Six uh, with the controller. Dang it, don't let me get this close and then lose. Right, I gotta post that up there so, so the world will see it. Moly midnight, I, I got a little better. Cause I ain't just straight trash, huh? Oh, caught me. About time. You gave it to me. It's okay. I take him how I get him. Yeah. You know what's crazy, Damien? Is that uh I actually I have a way to get them, man. I got I got like two micro centers right here, man, right next to I got two micro centers within 30 minutes of my house. Um, and dude, they are forever having sales. I, I used to, uh, hit up a lot of the, uh, returns. So like people always are returning stuff at our, at, um, the micro centers by my house. So yeah, man, you know, Nick was tripped out when he came here. Everybody comes like, they come to visit me, man. They, they come down here and they're like, y'all got Y'all got two micro centers, like just like basically on like the same street, but you got around like 15 minutes or 20 minutes around the block, and you got another micro center. blocking my dumb ass I didn't block now one time that's stupid that's that was my dumb ass problem right there I was continuously advancing and wasn't blocking
There we go again. I'm not, there I go. I was about to say, got a block this time. KO. Yeah, man. I just—it's funny. I just told Nick, and they just—they uh, just opened up one by their house uh, up in North Carolina. So they—they uh, they just put one in Charlotte. So I stay on their list uh, for stuff because I—I uh, well, I guess they call it a micro center insider or whatever. Because you know, I buy so much stuff, I spend so much damn money. Um, <laughs> Uh, but uh yeah they're opening they're they're moving man they're actually trying to open a lot of stores only thing i hope that they don't do is get to the point where like fries was man when they get so big that they get sucked into um into everything when they start you know they, they get ahead of excuse me ahead of themselves where they can't keep up i think that the one thing that works for them is their size and the exclusivity of how many of them there are because right now, you know, like you said, you know, the good thing about it with a lot of this is the fact that, you know, that people, that people can get to them and they order stuff and it's a thing, like it's a, it's a whole journey. Like you see the, all these guys making these videos about, you know, taking trips to Micro Center, like, if they, if they put them everywhere, you're going to lose that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to lose the ability to uh, have that type of, you know, mystique around it. You know, where, you know, people go there and it's a, it's an open hand. Like, I, I tell people all the time, I know people in Atlanta take it for granted. Like, um, because we got these two, you know, it's a couple of different cities that's got more than one. But we're, we're relatively weird because we're so small, you know. You would think that in our market, we wouldn't have it like that. You know, I know people say Atlanta's like big metro, big city, whatever, but Atlanta's really not big. Atlanta's really small, you know, on reality, you know, reality wise, Atlanta's not that big. You know, it's a, Atlanta's really a bunch of small islands. So you have the city of Atlanta downtown and you got all these neighboring cities around it that make up metro Atlanta, but it's not, it's, Atlanta itself is not that big, like where the micro centers are. It's not really even, um, it's not really Atlanta. Well, Mo, you know what? This is going to be our last match, if you don't mind, bro. We've been on two hours. Not that I mind, but, you know, I don't, I don't want the algorithm to be crazy. Ain't nobody going to watch it. They're going to be like, two hours? Hell no. <laughs> but it's all about the live, man. You've been with me the whole time, man. I appreciate you, though. I appreciate everybody's been here. You know, Sham, Sham's still out there. A chosen one. Buddha for one, you know. Damien, man, I appreciate you being here. Hey, do you ever hit it up? Chosen, do you ever hit it up? I mean, if you do, that's dope. I mean, dude, that's... I, I, I love Market Center. The problem I have with Market Center is that I, it's hard for me to go in there without spending the money. They always got something, dude. Like, they got, and they be having sales on real shit. Like, they don't be having no sales on, on no bullshit. Like, they be having sales on, like, you can go get, like, a, 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 a racing rig, like, on discount or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, crazy shit like that. Like, the stuff you guys see online is nothing compared to what's in the store. Like, in the store, like, you know, if you go to Micro Center, the stuff they have on display and the things they have out there are stupid. Yeah, you know, I used to, that used to be my thing. I used to go buy, like, a bunch of Raspberry Pis, especially, like, with my cold and stuff. Like, we, we're going to be doing this uh, this whole thing now where, we're, like, we do, like, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, uh, PC bills, like, stack bills. <laughs> Thanks, man. 
Appreciate it, bro. So, yeah, I got to leave the room. But I'm going to get out here and talk with y'all for two seconds. And then I got to go. So, yo, I don't know where that, that is. I can do that right there. So, save, save, save. I always get SSDs or thumb drives. Appreciate you, Moat, man. Appreciate you, man. Saying I got a lot of better, man. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, I might, I might have to stay with the controllers. I might have to stay with the controls. I, I got Big Boy over here. I didn't even hit hook Big Boy up. I didn't even hook Big Boy up today. I didn't hook him up. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. So, we'll see, man. Uh, Target selling pies now? What? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Oh, no, nah. I didn't say it was a shame. I just was, I never, I never really was a, um, I never used controller on the game before. Like, when I say never, I have never, ever used a controller while playing this game, Mo. I have never, as long as we've had it, we've been playing this game, I've never, I've never used a controller. So, I was like, you know, today I just had it in my hand because I was playing the other stuff, and I was like, you know, I was I wasn't gonna do that, you know. I was, you know, I'm gonna bet you I know why uh, why they're selling them because they needed a, they Pi needed a major uh, they needed a major outlet, man. So once they got behind in production over in London, man, you know they were they were really hard pressed and people were doing stupid stuff. Like man, you remember, pies were getting up to over 120, 30, 40 bucks, two hundred dollars for a pie. That was stupid. Um, but now, I think that they want to be able to have larger outlets. I think they, I know they created another manufacturing plant to make them, to make the, uh, to make the zero boards, to make, to make like the Pi fours and the Pi three B pluses and all that good stuff. So, uh, I think they're, but I think that they're, um, they, they create. Excuse me, I'm sorry, pop my nose. Cause I got this microphone on. Um, I think they created a new. Um, manufacturing plant so i think they just want to keep the stream of them going because uh the the covid and the supply shortage really killed them they just didn't have the silicon to produce pies bro it was crazy but you know it was the same thing for the car market and everything else they just didn't have it you know if you don't have it you don't have it but uh i'm glad to see that they're uh, that, that somebody else sells them uh like i said i got i, I actually have a need for about 30 of them, so I'm going to be buying about 30 pies soon, I guess. See which one are cheaper. If I can get a deal, I might have to order them directly from them. I know if they, they a lot of times that Microsoft and um, they them and some of these other manufacturers, when you go to them getting tech stuff for uh, for non-profits, they, they cut you a deal, so we'll see. But guys, uh, I got five people left, man. I had a lot of people in. I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to say thank you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to shoot out one one comment from you if you're here uh you know and uh, throw it out there okay so it didn't go too far back so buddha for one thank you so much for coming through i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you mr moat man of course man i appreciate you coming through for show sure, brother mr damien damien <laughs> we say i'm back what's happening <laughs> it's back from at 11 29 Let's see who else is on here. I know Sham, Cham was on here. I can't go back that far. Um, I wish I could. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think. Oh, and oh, can't forget my boy, man. Can't forget my boy, Chosen. Where you at, down here, man? You down here at the bottom? Let's go. Chosen is in the building. So, man, thank you so much for stopping through, too, Chosen, man. I appreciate it, bro. Um. Man, and for, for you guys coming through, man, hey, let you know, man, I really appreciate it. I really do. I really, really, really do. So, of course, you always hear me say this, and I really, truly mean it, man. I really, really, truly mean it. I'm going to look directly in the camera. I know that you could be anywhere or doing anything in the world right now. That time is the most precious thing we have. You can't get it back. So, in the fact that the matter is you're sharing your time with me means the world to me so you could be anywhere in the world 
with you right here with me. I appreciate it and I love you for it. And that's from my heart. I appreciate it, man. Just MGK. Thank you for coming by, spending some time with me. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on Thursday. We can do this again. Um, and you guys have a good and blessed day. Thank you.